In a remote region, 75 miles east of Bend, Oregon, you can travel back in time millions of years by visiting the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. Venturing into this vast, arid region of Oregon, you come across a strange yet beautiful landscape. Green rock formations tower over the valley. Colorful red, yellow, and gold hills signal you have entered the Painted Hills unit. In the Painted Hills, you can explore over 3,000 acres of breathtaking landscapes. As you can see, we have very colorful green and pink and white layers of rock here. And these are the more recent exposures, so we're talking about 20 million years old. To get a better understanding of what you are seeing wherever you wander, be sure to check out the Sheep Creek unit of the monument. Here, you'll find the new Thomas Condon Paleontology Center, where you can learn the geologic story of the entire area. At the Center's Interpretive Museum, you enter a place that will take you on a 55 million year walk through time. The vast collection of fossils on display were put together mostly by staff paleontologists who actively work and study on site. The John Day Fossil Beds National Monument preserves an incredible assemblage of Earth's history. There's more than 50 million years of, of geologic time preserved here. Based on the plant and animal fossil evidence, large painted murals are used to illustrate the semi-tropical landscape that once existed here some 50 million years ago. The plants that were here were ferns, um, big, lush, leafy plants, and then there were very large animals who ate those plants, um, animals like brontotheres, which kind of resembled an elephant except without a trunk, as well as some very large carnivores and some tiny little horse ancestors of our modern day horse. The incredible climate change that has taken place is amazing. When you consider how arid this once tropical environment has become. Just down the road from the museum, you'll find well-maintained hiking trails that take you into the heart of the distant past. Blue Basin is a, a great feature of the Sheep Rock unit of the monument. It hosts two trails and when you hike in Blue Basin, you kind of enter another world of I think an early paleontologist described it as eerie greens and blue layers of and pillars and cliffs of rock. Near the town of Fossil, Oregon is another unit of the monument the 1900 plus acre Clarno unit. Here, you will see the oldest rock formations in the monument dating back 44 million years. These rocks are the remnants of ancient volcanic mud flows that swept over a tropical jungle that flourished from 100 inches of rainfall per year. And if you visit there, you will see what we call the Palisades, which is a petrified lahar, which is a term that means a volcanic mud flow happened when a volcano erupted and 
now it is preserved as, as a rock wall that's been eroded away and you can see these sheer cliff faces. If you walk up close to that lahar layer, you'll actually see petrified wood and petrified leaf fossils embedded in the walls of the rock. These fossils give scientists clues about what happened to our planet millions of years in the past. That treasure trove of information is locked in the fossil record found at John Day Fossil Bed National Monument. Paleontologists continue to work in the field throughout all of the units so they can learn more about our past. In turn, their work may yield clues to our planet's future.